girl of Tamid, white bread didn't matter, long as she had herself a big platter, but one day as she's about to take a bite, her two friends look on in such a fright, please, 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 don't eat the meat, that right there is our family. I'm your host Christine Horn and today we're gonna make some lentil stew now I like my lentil stew with some flavor where it feels like it's comfort food so it's gonna be really easy but I'm gonna tell you what you need to start with first for my version uh, start with some lentils any kind I'm using just some generic <laughs> green lentils but you can use black red whatever you find um, about a few cups of onions, chopped onions. I'm being lazy today, so I have some chopped onions already in the bag from the freezer. Also some chopped carrots. Again, being lazy, being convenient, rather. Let me say that. I'm being convenient. Some chopped uh, sliced carrots. I'm going to be using some fresh garlic. Also convenience. Um, I, didn't, I don't have any fresh garlic, so this uh, chopped minced garlic in the jar will do. We'll need some olive oil. Uh, we're going to use some celery. Uh, this is a little less than a, a whole uh, bundle, but it's about the half of a bundle of celery. And for seasoning, um, you'll need water. And uh, I use, Whole Foods carries this, uh, these bouillon cubes. They're vegan bouillon cubes. One has sea salt with herbs. Um, this is without salt. So this is sea, uh, herbs. And then there's one the herbs with the sea salt. So I use both of them to, for a little flavor. And then what really gives it like the good kick and flavor are these dried herbs. Now if you have fresh herbs at the house, feel free to use them. But you know dried herbs have such strong flavors. So I use a lot of things. Um, I have Miss Dash, no salt, which is great for those of you watching your salt intake, which we all should actually. This one is actually garlic and herb. Also Bragg's, I know you Bragg's fans out there, I use this too, it's the Bragg's Organic Sprinkle. Four, 24 herbs and spices. And if you are near Trader Joe's, we have a 21 seasoning salute. So either one of these three will work. I actually use a little of all of them to give it that special flavor. So gather those ingredients or something close to it and I'll see you at the stove. Okay, welcome back. By now you've probably gotten everything that you need. The first thing we're going to do is start out with our olive oil. Um, now guys, I'm not huge on measuring, so this, depending on how big your pot is, depending on how many how much lentils you're using, it all just kind of go with the flow with me, if that's cool with you. So I'm just going to, let's just say, for the sake of this, I'm putting uh, six tablespoons of olive oil. Uh, let's start with the medium to high heat. Okay, so what are you doing right now? Oh, I missed an important ingredient, you guys. I'm so sorry. Cumin. Cumin, cumin, however you say it. I say it cumin. Uh, let's see. Can you see that? I got this from the little store, but you've seen cumin using a lot of uh, Indian dishes. Um, so what you want to do while this oil is getting heated, you want to start heating up some cumin. Let's just say, let's do about a tablespoon. No, teaspoon. Teaspoon of cumin. Ah, uh, tablespoon. Let's say tablespoon. There we go. See, I go with the, just go with the flow with me, guys, so you don't get confused. Be like, she said? No. Just try to hang with me. So we're going to let that, uh get heated up for a second because what's going to happen is you want to heat the cumin first because it the flavor gets released. 
So you want to make sure that starts. Because if you just throw some cumin in a, you know, a pot of something that's already made, it doesn't, you don't get the strong taste profile that you should. And you'll smell it too. Okay, the cumin is getting heated. Um, also, what you want to add at this point is your garlic. So if you if you fresh cut some fresh garlic, we're going to add that. I'm going to, if you, you're dealing with garlic like this, I'm going to do a nice hunk of a teaspoon of it. Ooh, wee. Getting started now. Stir that around. Now, this garlic cooks very fast. So, as soon as you put it in, Get your lentils ready. Put your lentils, lentils on standby. Get your lentils and several cups of water on standby. Because you don't want the garlic to burn. Because trust me, that's a, it's not a hot flavor. Trust me. So those are pretty much ready to go. Just turn around pretty briskly. All right. Ooh, it smells so good up in here. So now I'm using the whole bag of lentils. Now, like I said, you want if you're making if you're taking the time to do this, why not just make enough to last you several days? So just throw those in there, spread them out so you don't get popped by the grease. I could have rinsed those, but I forgot. So we're gonna keep it moving. <laughs> uh, so you got the lentils in there, and now we add the water slowly. Now, the key on some of you might be thinking, how much water am I supposed to use? Now, I see I have a nice sized pot. You have to think about how much lentil stew do you want. And think of the lentils as rice because the lentils are going to expand and you want to have enough water for that to happen. And think about it, we're adding, we're adding celery, onions, and carrots, a, true, a typical mirepoix mix. So, I'm going to add probably, probably another two of these. Let's see. Yep, one more. Cool. Like I said, I have no idea how much this is. Um, this says 700 cc's, whatever. The point is, you see how big your pot is. So if you had a little pot, you just use less water. So let's stir these lentils around. So now these lentils, we're just going to let them boil. When the water reaches a boiling point, we're going to cover it and let it boil. And when it reaches a boiling point, we'll come back to it and start adding our flavor and our vegetables. Okay. This sucker is boiled, as you can see. Now's the fun part. Now we add all our extra ingredients. And you see, I know you see all this water, don't get worried. These, these lentils are going to soak this water up. Just a heads up, lentils will take no less than 45 minutes to fully cook to a, a point that you will enjoy. So, let's get started. Let's throw, oh, you know what, before we throw in the veggies, let's throw in our seasoning. So, remember those bouillon cubes I showed you? I'm going to use one of them with sea salt and the other two without. So, just get those or whatever you decide to choose. If you're not vegan or vegetarian and you're just making lentils, uh, you can use chicken cubes or, you know, whatever else you want. But over here in this house, this is a vegan house. All right. Even my boyfriend, he is not vegan. <laughs> but he eats a lot of vegan food. Even when he doesn't realize it. <laughs> so you can totally, like... In Integrate this into your family meals without making the huge announcement like, hey guys, it's vegan night. I mean, the announcement would be great, but you don't have to do it. Because people hear the word vegan and they're like, ugh, no taste. There's a horrible notion that healthy food is bad food. Alright, so we got that in there. Let's stir this around. At this point, let's lower our heat to about a medium. Oh man, it smells so good in this house already. 
when you make this, you're going to smell up the whole house in a good way. So I'm about to throw in some of my dried herbs. This is the Trader Joe's version, the 21 Seed of Salute. And I am not measuring. I am just sprinkling to my heart's content. Keep in mind, there's no salt here. Just herbs. So I can use this freely, and so can you. I do love, however, this uh, Mrs. Dash, the garlic and herb. Man, for something with no salt, man, it has so much flavor. So like I said, I'm real free with that. And I might add more later. And you will have nothing to say about it. Because there's no salt. And I'll do a little brags too. Alright. So stir that up. Now it is time. Oh, that smells good. It just smells like home. Whatever that means to you. It smells like home. Alright, I'm going to add my onions. Now, if I were using fresh onions, I'd probably use two large onions. But, um, this is what I've got. I'm going to use my carrots. And that celery I showed you earlier is all chopped up and ready to go. Gently slide it in so you don't burn yourself like I just did. <laughs> okay, doesn't that already look good? We haven't even like mixed it in. It's not even done. Alright, so let's mix that in. Mmm, man. <laughs> Do not make this when you're in a rush to eat it because it's going to take, I like to cook mine for a good hour, hour and a half. Um, so yeah, this is not a dish to make in a rush. So guys, this is what we're working with. And I forgot to mention, now this is something I'm, I personally add for my own. I like to add, uh, where we are, tomato paste. Uh, just maybe like two or three, maybe like two tablespoons, just to give it color. But you totally don't have to. So when I get to that point, you can feel free to skip it. But I like to add in the tomato sauce to give it color and a little bit more flavor. So anyway, we're going to let this boil. Set your timer, set your phone. We're going to let this cook um, for a good 45 minutes. We'll check on it in 45 minutes and then maybe lower the heat to a simmer. But uh, just sit back, relax, watch some TV, check your Facebook, whatever you need to do, and we'll come back. Bye. Okay, welcome back. It's been about 30 minutes. Oh, and my house smells so good. <laughs> oh, I'm just getting hungry and hungrier by the second. Um, this is the point where I said you can skip if you don't want to do this, but this is the way I like to do it. I add, I have a teaspoon nearby, so that's what I'm going to use. And I'm going to use about mm, I'm going to start with three, three hunks of teaspoons of tomato paste, not tomato sauce. Tomato sauce has a bunch of extra crap in it. We're just looking for the tomato paste. Just to give it a little color. It's not and actually don't be fooled. It's not gonna taste like spaghetti spaghetti sauce or anything like that. It just gives it a little extra flavor. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more so you can see how the color's changing. See now it looks like a nice soup that you're used to seeing. I use one more teaspoon. So like I said, this has been cooking about 30 minutes or so. And I tasted a taste test a few minutes ago. Mmm, that's good. <laughs> now you can eat this by itself. You can eat it with some brown rice because it's so saucy, you know what I mean? For my people out there who like gravy and sauce, this is good. But lentils are a great source of protein. So when people ask, oh, you're vegan, how do you get your protein? I mean, many ways, but this is just one of the many ways you can get protein. Oh, that looks good. So we're just going to let that keep cooking. I'm going to taste it. And um, I'm going to give it another 20 minutes and see how we're doing. Okay, this meal is done. Look how beautiful that looks. The tomato sauce, the tomato paste, excuse me, gave it a nice red color. 
it's boiled ready to go actually today I cooked it just at 45 minutes because you know I think my heat was still a little high during that initial uh, boiling session but look how good that looks oh my goodness you're gonna thank me I hope you thank me it's so good so we're just gonna I'm I'm clearly gonna get started eating <laughs> Okay, so you have officially made lentil stew, Christine style. Um, it's so good. You can eat it with brown rice. You can eat it with pita bread by itself. It doesn't matter. It's good enough by itself. Trust me. Um, so let me know what you think. Try it and leave some comments in the comment box below. And I'll see you next time. And remember, you are special and you are loved. Peace. Take a bite.